is right about hell? Him? Him? Or her? Muhammad Ali, over to you. What am I going to do in the next 16 years? What's the best thing I can do? Get ready to meet God. Don't people die every day? Uh, not okay. every day. It's a scary thing to think that I'm going to hell, to burn eternally forever. This is a test to see where will we spend our life in heaven and hell. This is not the life now. Your real self is inside you. So what am I saying? The most important thing about life is what's going to happen when you die. Are you going to go to heaven or hell? And that's eternity. How long is eternity? Let's imagine. Take the Sahara Desert. There's a lot of sand on the Sahara Desert, right? Then take, imagine that one grain of sand represents a thousand years, and when you're in hell burning, when you die and go to hell, you're going to burn forever and ever and ever, no end. How long is that? Give you an idea how long eternity is. Take the Sahara Desert, and I told you to wait a thousand years, and every thousand years, I want you to pick up a grain of sand until the desert is empty. Wait another thousand years before you get the next grain. Keep that up until there's no more sand in the desert. So it just scares me to think that I'm gonna die one day and go to hell. Did you catch that? Muhammad Ali is saying that people will burn in hell for all of eternity. So is Muhammad Ali correct? Do the citizens of hell burn for all of eternity? Or does there come a point when they cease to exist? When they're finally laid to rest? Well, before we look at the answer to that question, first, we need to hear from Elon Musk. Recently, Elon Musk responded to a Muslim man who warned him that he needed to get right with the creator before it was too late. Elon tweeted back, thank you for the blessing, but I'm okay with going to hell. If that is indeed my destination, since the vast majority of all humans ever born will be there. So in other words, Elon Musk is saying out of the billions and billions of people who have Ever walked on the face of this earth, the vast majority of them will go to hell. What do you think? Do you think that hell will be much fuller than heaven? Well, before we answer that question, we need to hear from the music superstar Billie Eilish, because she perhaps is going to say the most shocking thing of all about hell. My album comes out March 29th. When we all fall asleep, where do we go? <laughs> I go to hell when I die. And so does he. <laughs> Now, I can hear exactly what you're thinking right now. You're saying to me, Joe, Billy was just playing around. But suppose she does continue to reject the Lord Jesus Christ as publicly as she does. Will she really go to hell? Or will God say, no, I welcome you into my heaven because you're not a criminal, you're not a bad person by the world's standards. Come into heaven, Billy, or we'll find out in a moment's time. But here's the answer you've all been waiting for. Who is right about hell? Ali, Musk, or Eilish? Well, let's start with Muhammad Ali. He believes that the people who are in hell will remain there for all of eternity. Is that true? The Bible says, Then he will also say to those on the left hand, Depart from me, you cursed, into the everlasting fire prepared for the devil and his angels. So actually, Muhammad Ali was right. The fire in hell is eternal, and those people who are there are there for all of eternity, as Jesus Christ said. My dear friends, I know some of you may say, I don't believe in that. I don't believe in that doctrine of an eternal hell. Well, if you say that to me, can I just gently say this? If we don't believe that hell is eternal, how can we believe that heaven is eternal? Because the same word is used here. Then they will go away to eternal punishment, but the righteous to eternal life. And I know that heaven is forever. When I'm with the Lord Jesus Christ, no one is taking me away. I'm there for all of eternity. But on the flip side, as upsetting as this is to think about, those people who are in hell will be there forever. There are no fire escapes in hell. But what about Elon Musk? He said that the vast majority of people who've ever been born will be in hell. Is Elon Musk right? Well, let's see what Jesus says. Enter by the narrow gate, for wide is the gate and broad is the way that leads to destruction. And there are many who go in by it because narrow is the gate and difficult is the way which leads to life. And there are few 
who find it. So Elon was also right. Jesus said there is a big wide road and on this road are all the pleasures of life, are all the fantasies, all the great things that this world promises and everyone on that road has got their orange and they want to squeeze every last bit of juice, every last drop out of that orange to get everything they can out of this life. But what they forget is at the end of this broad road with the many, many souls that are on it, at the end is destruction. But on the flip side, however, Jesus also described a narrow road, a thin road with a difficult path. If you like, up a, a rugged mountain, it's hard, it's tough. But at the end of that road is eternal life. But only a few people walk on that road. I wonder, which road are you on today? The broad one, with all the fleeting pleasures of this life, or the narrow one, which leads to eternal life and the Lord Jesus Christ? So, that only leaves us with Billie Eilish. She said, When we all fall asleep, where do we go? I go to hell when I die, and so does he. Was Billie Eilish correct? Would God ever send her to hell? Or is hell just reserved for, like, really, really bad criminals that we hear about on the news? Well, actually, the Bible says, All liars shall have their part in the lake which burns with fire. And I find that very concerning, because according to that verse, I deserve to go to hell because I've told many lies in my life and I'm sure Billie Eilish has also told lies in her life. So we all deserve to go to hell. But the question now we need to ask is, was Billie Eilish correct about hell? Was she really right? Well, I actually believe that all three of those celebrities spoke the truth about this eternal fire. But here's the big question now. Here's the big answer. Do they have a remedy? Do they have an answer to getting out of that hell? I'm gonna make a statement now, and you tell me yes or no, do you agree with this statement? From the time you started watching this video until now, you have less heartbeats. Is that right or is it wrong? It's right, isn't it? Every single one of us is winding down. Every single one of us is decaying and we're getting that step closer to judgment, that step closer to stepping out into eternity and facing our God. Do you know what you have to do to go to hell? Nothing. Just be yourself and one day you'll eventually reach hell. And that's why we all need the Lord Jesus Christ. The one who took our hell on the cross. The one who had God's wrath, God's punishment that we deserve poured out on him in full. All of God's justice was filtered out into one man, the Lord Jesus Christ, as he was crucified on that cross 2,000 years ago. And because of that one act, forgiveness and salvation can be found. It's a bit like this. I know you'd never do this, but imagine you smash up a car, you really make a mess of someone else's car, and you stand before a judge, and the judge says, you need to pay $2,000. And you say, I don't have $2,000, I don't have that kind of money. But then a rich benefactor comes in and says, I'll pay that fine, I'll pay the $2,000. Do you have to pay it still? No, because someone else has paid your debt for you. And that's what Jesus Christ did. When he shed his blood on that cross, his blood can wash away our guilty stains, the stains of our sins can be scrubbed away so that God can look at us and say, that man, that woman is declared righteous. They are justified. It's just as if they have never sinned. And that's what grace is. It's God's riches at Christ's expense. Christ at his expense died for us and then God gives us his riches, his grace, his righteousness as a gift. Now, while the can of acronyms has been opened, here's another one for you. If you're considering this, if you're thinking, yes, I would like to be a Christian, what do I need to do? Well, really, there is only one thing you need to do, and it's this. You need to come. You need to come to the Lord Jesus Christ. If you're a child, just as you are, come to the Lord Jesus Christ. If you're an old person, just as you are, come to the Lord Jesus Christ. If you're middle-aged, what do you need to do? You also need to come to the Lord Jesus Christ. And if you're listening now and I've missed you out, everyone, all of us, every single one of us needs to come to the Lord Jesus Christ. He alone is the one who can snatch us from hell. He alone is the one who can save us. And I plead with you today that you will run, you will flee the fires of hell and run into the safety of the Lord Jesus Christ's arms.
Oh my dear friend, I know I am a total stranger to you and you probably don't know anything about me and you say, why should I trust what you say? And I, I understand that, I do understand that. So I just ask that you might just consider what I've said and if you've got a Bible at home, please read the Gospel of John. Just start there and let Jesus Christ speak to you through his own words. Don't take what I say, read the Bible itself, but do it quickly because none of us know when we will draw our last breath. In this video, we only scratch the surface of what hell is like. If you'd like a fuller description, please watch this video here. And I will warn you, actually out of all the videos that I ever made on this channel, this is the only one where I ever actually was moved to tears because I was thinking on the reality of just how dreadful this place is. And if you haven't yet subscribed yet, please do consider subscribing. I'm really grateful you've got this far and it'd be lovely to see you again if you're able to. God bless you all and thank you for watching.